Autodesk's Feature Cam uses the automatic feature recognition tool to extract features from parts that you may run on a complex machine such as a turn mill. In a turn mill environment, the AFR works along the z-axis and extracts features accordingly. It will not extract items around the outer perimeter. However, there is a way to do that and it's actually the preferred way. In here you'll notice that it has recognized several features. Of all these I will keep all but this one feature here. This is a milling feature uh, and we would have a hard time reaching that. So I will deactivate that. So the bulk of the work is done um, on this part. What we have remaining is the outer perimeter features. That's where interactive feature recognition comes in. So we would choose a milling feature and in this case let's extract the holes using interactive feature recognition which is activated by checking this box. I'm going to find features around the outside of the part or around the index axis and with holes it's really simple you can check the automatic button press next choose the rule to um, recognize and construct multiple types of holes and notice the preview that we receive here. It's up to the user then to decide which ones they're going to keep. You can keep them all or you can keep only certain ones if you desire just by clicking on those. In this case we're going to keep them all and accept them. Notice that Feature Cam has created the features. It will also have assigned tools and therefore feeds and speeds, depth of cuts, cycle um, pecs for the the cycle type for the drilling the pecs etc that, that apply you can also do some of the other milling features as well I'll show you a quick one here we'll do these little flats and we'll do that on the end of this part I will do a side feature using feature recognition and in this case I'm going to align my tool axis perpendicular to a surface so the end of the tool would approach that surface and I will then use one of the five methods to extract features from the model. In this case I will use side surfaces selecting this and this. Feature Cam will at this point assume that we want to machine all the way down to the bottom which is not true. Um, it also will help us to determine which side of the surface we want to machine. So in this case we're going to machine between those two arrows. On the next page after we confirm that we're good with the side, side control results, we can set the bottom to the point that we want. And in this case, we get a toolpath. Um, several operations to do this, the rough and the finish to do it. The assigned um, tool that Feature Cam deems appropriate, which you can change at any time. And we get a nice result. From this point, we can actually take this and do another feature type. Instead of repeating this process four times, or repeating it three more times, I can simply pattern the feature. Taking an existing feature and patterning side one, and I will pattern it radially around the index axis. I want four in total, and they are 90 degrees apart on the model. I can see the preview, hit finish, and now I have the result um, that I desire. So let's take a quick look at the simulation and thanks for joining me today. You can see all the tool paths that uh, were created by AFR and then the ones we did with IFR making using feature cam to simplify our programming time and now all we need to do is fine-tune any settings we may want or make some minor adjustments and we're ready to to send this out to the machine possibly. Again, thanks for joining me.